Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome now to a brand new vlog here on Theme Park Insanity. Now today we're back at Alton Towers. I personally haven't been down since opening day and I was going to get the monorail up, but a 20 minute wait versus a 15 minute walk, I'm walking. It's a simple ad. <laughs> anyway, let's make our way up to the main entrance, get into the park. Uh, today the idea is to obviously sort of see how Nemesis is running post opening uh, and also hopefully get back on some of the other rides that I sadly missed on opening day. <laughs> It was just so busy. Anyway, without further ado, let's get up there, let's get checked in, and let's start our day here at Alton Towers. Well, I'll tell you something, for a midweek day, this isn't what you want to see. Loads of coaches here, and minibuses, which were before the coaches. Even more coaches up here. Evidently, school trip season is again once in full swing. Almost there. <laughs> Just in the entrance. Another couple of minutes and we'll be there. I'll tell you something, when it comes to visiting Alton Towers, especially if you park down in the main car park, it might be worth thinking about taking a fitness test. <laughs> I mean, you got the monorail, but if you want to walk, it's quite a trek. And it's the same with Alton Towers kind of in the park too. It's very up and down hills. Uh, the sky rise, sadly, this year again is out of action. Apparently there's a lot of work that needs doing it to it, so at least they're doing that. And obviously they're hoping it'll be back next year, but yeah, definitely takes it out of you. In fact, truth be told, I think this is probably one of the parks I feel the most tired after visiting, especially when I've got another two and a half hours in a car home on the same day, so yeah. And we made it. 15, 10, yeah, 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Right, let's get through the barriers. Right, so we're in. We're just going to make our way through Towers Trading to start off our day. There's a couple of new pin badges I want to get. Uh, since we came last, they've released a brand new Blade one and they've also released a brand new Holt Towers Dungeon pin, logo pin, which you see at the other dungeons as well. So now you've got one for that too. It's something that a few people have wanted to see for a while, so they are available now. But yeah, let's go take a quick look and then we'll head straight down to Forbidden Valley before starting our day. And it looks like the Phalanx Hoperatives are still on Towers Street. Looks like they're having a uh, riveting time. House trading. You've also got some brand new plushies for Alton Tower, Curse at Alton Manor this year as well. So like the Scarecrow doll ones, which are priced at £20 each, or of course you get the discount on that if you are uh, an annual pass holder, but they're quite nice to be fair. So that's embroidered, that's stitched on. Yeah, no bad, I might have to get one of those at some point myself. And of course you've still got the other two there as well. You've got little ex espresso shot glasses, or cups, which are uh, £8 again discount will cost you less uh, you've got a smiler pyramax pyra, pyraminx cube that's different <laughs> nice cups there there's quite a lot of them at ride merch this year actually a nice decent sized selection so it's nice to see but of course here to try and find these brand new pins which i believe will be around here somewhere hopefully if they haven't sold out of them nope they've got the towers dungeon one there so that's a uh, that's a new one. It's got to find the blade ones now. Wherever they are. Ah, there we are. Fantastic. There we go. Yeah, but apart from that, there's also a lot of other new pins as well. Um, pin prices, again, they've kind of gone up to £8 now, which I can't remember if it was last year. I think it was last year. But obviously, again, you get discount. It's still quite expensive, though. But there's a decent selection. There's lots available. Ride train ones this year, which I quite like. We'll get that one for Wickerman later on. There is also another Wickerman one as well. Yeah, lots of new stuff available this year. I uh, still have your sort of event ones like Scarefest and stuff, that's all over there as well. And then other ride merchandise throughout the shop too. Nice big selection, but of course, Forbidden Valley has its own Nemesis shop, so we'll take a look at that again later on. So a quick look there at some of the new merchandise available in Towers Trading. But yeah, going to make our way down towards Forbidden Valley now. I might drop in on the curse, depending on one, if it's open, and two, what the wait time is. But failing that, straight down to Nemesis. We'll take our day from there. Right, sag like that. Wicker Man's on the 25 minute way. Again, always judge the queue times for yourself, but at that time, it'd be rude not to, eh? Well, it looks like Big Box. A few moments later. Big Bob's flaming shoulders are off again. 
I know one side of them's on, the other one isn't. Going, but we still got fire. Anyway, like I said before, 25 minutes, a bit rude not to wait. I'll tell you something, can you believe this ride's six years old this year? <laughs> six years old, opened up in 2018, and we're now in 2024. That's gone really fast, is that? Really, really fast. But the one main thing about the main queue line is the fact you do get this lovely view here. And yes, the train is currently going round. There we are. Anyway, onwards. So new this year, the Wickerman, Wickerman queue line also has canopies over sort of the main queue areas up near the building itself. And this is really nice. It means that you're actually you're undercover. You're not out in the sun or the rain all day. Yeah, a really nice move by Towers, and it kind of complements it in terms of the corners really well. But the train's just going up there. We're literally just at the front of the queue. Not much longer. It's a great way to start our day there with a ride on Wicker Man. That thing was running really, really well indeed. Uh, very fast, very forceful, lots of airtime. And because I only had one click, I had a little bit of a leeway, so obviously I kind of lifted out the seat as I went round. Regardless though, really good fun. It's, it's a good little ride. It's the first time that we've ridden it this year, and it certainly seems a lot smoother than it was last year. I think the way it kind of goes is obviously it starts the season out quite smooth, and then it sort of gets rougher and rougher towards the back end. I mean, obviously that's going to happen with wear and tear, but yeah, great to get back on. Really enjoyed it. Onwards to Nemesis. Of a three lap special, but a four lap special. Bloody hell, they're lucky. <laughs> right, so a quick ride on Curse Alt Manor before we drop down into Forbidden Valley. Great to see actors out, regardless of the fact it is midweek in the middle of term, they still have actors available and out and about. Might get some of that later on as well. I do love this ride, that guy looks spooky. And with a five minute wait, yeah, why not? So I just had a ride there on Cursor Alt Manor. Uh, they fixed a few things in there. There's stuff that feels a lot more fresh. Um, the projections as well, a lot clearer than they were. Lovely to see them obviously kind of taking care of it and making sure that things are running the way they should be. With a five minute wait, if it's like that, you have to jump on and try it out if you haven't already. But now, without further ado, let's go to where we're gonna to go to in the first place and let's get down to Nemesis and Fibidon Valley. Just on our way, I thought we'd take a quick look at the uh, construction work taking place for this brand new unknown attraction that's going to sit next to where the Cursor Old Manor is at the rear. As we can see there in a moment, the concrete base is now in for the attraction. It's also going to be a mixture of that um, and obviously sort of shipping containers as well with like a big sort of like semi-circular semi roof. So there's a lot of work ongoing. In terms of what it will be, we still don't know. There's a lot of anticipation and sort of predictions saying it will be something for Scarefest in terms of a brand new sort of maze or indoor sort of immersive attraction. I mean, that's obviously good for the most likely scenario. But what it'll be themed to, we don't know. It could well be Nemesis, or it could well be uh, Cursor Old Manor, given the location. So obviously we'll keep you up to date, we'll let you know as more kind of becomes available to us. But yeah, work nicely ongoing there. Laser makeup, except for normal sized worms <laughs> that don't live in brains. Oh, hey, oh we're getting, uh, we're getting scanned. Okay, so we've just been uh, apprehended by phalanx operatives <laughs> and scanned for normal sized worms. Interesting. I had to think what uh, abnormal sized worms look like, but there we are. Anyway, right, making our way towards the Forbidden Valley entrance. I love what they've done with this. It definitely feels more immersive, obviously, it adds that kind of authentic sort of element to it. We'll have a look at Arcade while we're down here as well. But of course, we're going to head straight to Nemesis to kick off. Didn't do the normal queue line last time, so we'll get a look through there. Yeah, looking forward to this. Let's go get on Nemesis. We are the Phalanx, delivering strength 
I still love, love what they've done within here. I really do. It just it feels so more kind of authentic to the story and so much more immersive as well. Not much of a queue for Nemesis Subterra. I think we'll ride Nemesis first and then get on that afterwards. But yeah, it looks so much better like this. It's next level in terms of theming, as I said. Arcade is now open and as Sean Evans rightly pointed out, that is a really big building for just an arcade. So let's hope that it's temporary and something else does come to that building. But yeah, love this. Really do. Thunder V there, obviously a reference to Thunder Valley. Uh, you've got other different things kind of kicking around, little Easter eggs here and there. Or uh, Nemesis X. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely love this. I really do. It's such an improvement on the previous area. And it just creates that real sort of immersive element you would expect from a world class ride and obviously a world class park. So make it our way towards the uh, right entrance. We've still got actors out here as well, so uh, show mercy. Where is Percy? Percy? I haven't seen Percy. Have you guys seen Percy? No, no, that's why we're asking people. I know, he disappeared, didn't he? Yeah, he's gone five weeks. Five weeks. I think Nemesis had a lunch in all fairness. I think that's probably yeah, where he's got yeah, to. Yeah, she's a vegan. Is she a vegan? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Very nice. Well, to be fair, I mean, it's, it kind of shows in the colour, so uh, yeah. nice yeah. bit of red. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to go pay her a visit, and uh, if I don't, I'll keep an eye out for Percy. Seek the truth. Seek the truth. There we go. Making our way through the queue line, you get some good views of the ride from up here. You've got theming elements around there, you've obviously got a piece of track over there, as if the Nemesis creature has kind of taken over the area, which of course is to find a theme. You've got a phalanx gun here, which is pointing directly at Nemesis. Train going up there, so we'll get a nice view of it as it comes down here in a second. Nice to kind of kept this route, uh, and of course, there was an extension over there. Here she comes. I love it. And I'm also with Luke, uh, George from Loops and Donuts now as well, met up with him, so uh, gonna grab a ride with George. But yeah, I love this. It's a bit of a trek. As I said at the beginning, it almost feels like you need kind of a fitness test to come here, but um, <laughs> yeah, we're making our way around now. Get some shots, and I'll talk to you afterwards. We've got a burst open phalanx container here. Obviously, Nemesis has attacked it and thrown some of a track at it. It's almost like a kind of impromptu sort of uh, investigation. Investigation for silly. That's cool, nice little kind of almost like a pre show. And I'm just going up there again as well. And the views you get from up here are absolutely brilliant. So it's definitely going to make for some good photos. Car park very busy today. And funnily enough, the park doesn't feel too busy, so it's not too bad. But yeah, down to there and Winter Station. She is still very much definitely a beast. She really is. There's a bit of a rattle again still towards the back. It's not quite as bad as it was, but it is still there. Regardless, though, that felt very, very fast indeed. Um, and yeah, it was so good to be back on. It's literally just going down now, I think, actually. I've got up the hill. <laughs> but yeah, route running really, really well indeed. Really, you know, sort of smooth as well. Uh, the theming again, it just makes it and it makes it an experience, it really does. That is absolutely fantastic. I love what they've done with it. Uh, hopefully we can try and get it as it comes past here in a second. But yeah, it's a major improvement, it really is. As much as it ran really well when they shut it, uh, obviously, you know, they needed to do the maintenance on it, they needed to replace the track. And it really does secure its future. Here she comes. There you go. <laughs> 
but yeah, fantastic to be back on it. It really, really was. We're gonna have a good few more rides now. Uh, today, as I said, you know, and you saw for yourself, it's a 15 minute wait, or it was. It's not gonna be much longer at this point. I'm gonna go back around, get a few more rides, and then I can give a bot sort of a more formed opinion on it, I think, at that stage. Time for round two. Let's go get another ride, and again, I will talk to you when I come off. And hopefully, I'll get somewhere near the front. I've been near the back a few times, but um, in fact, funny enough, on that ride, I was on the, pretty much the exact same seat that I was uh, when I first rode it. Good way to kind of draw a comparison, but yeah, let's go get another ride, and again, I'll talk to you when I come back off. the world and uh, they want to train your offspring and use them for warfare. Strength and control, more like lies for control. Everything is under. Okay, so two back to back rides there on Nemesis Reborn. It's running really well, it really, really is. It's a lot smoother, uh, we're towards the front this time on the second row there uh, on the outer seat. Still a bit of a rattle on it, but yeah, it's, it's going to take time to wear in. It's a great ride. It's really smooth, uh, apart from that, of course. And yeah, just fantastic to be back on it. In terms of the forces, it's still forceful where it was before, certainly on that downward helix. And the more that you kind of sort of accelerate, the more forceful it becomes. But overall, it was fantastic to get back on. And I do love Nemesis Reborn. I really do. It's certainly one of my favorite UK coasters. Of course, I'll always call it Nemesis. Yeah, fantastic to be back. Right, so there's a few more things to look at before we do go for some dinner, but with uh, the re -theme down here, of course, a lot of the places have been renamed as well. So Ground, Ground Command, obviously the coffee that was formerly the Costa Coffee, is still Costa Coffee, but you've got different things here now. So you've got Project D Donuts, which are absolutely delicious. Uh, there were some Nemesis themed treats before, and I think actually there is, yeah, there's a Nemesis Donut there, which does look very nice, although that's a lot of money for a donut, in all fairness, which is really sad. Otherwise, I probably would have got one. £10 though, that's cool, but... 750 pushing it a bit but of course it is an independent uh, independent maker it's not related to Alton Towers obviously they've just been kind of brought in to provide um, you've got a cupcake there with a Nemesis Reborn logo on that's three pounds uh, assumably we'll be able to get discount on those as well and then a range of cold drinks and all the menus there have been completely re to fit in with Forbidden Valley as well and that lemon drizzle cake looks very nice too but there are other kind of food outlets and catering outlets down here. You've got a chicken place up there, which again we'll take a look at in a minute. And one or two others as well. So let's go have a look at those. This time there's no queue to get into Bunker 94 either like there was. So let's go have a look in there. So since opening day they've got a range of new Nemesis Reborn merchandise and one of them includes this lovely resin of the actual creature itself. They are quite weighty of those actually. You've also got the train down there too. In terms of prices, ridiculous. £18 for that and the alien risen 25 that's a lot of money. Is that even with discount? You're still looking at least. 15 to 20 pounds. Well, they are nice. The detail, that one's missing an eye. Very nice. I may have to get one at some point, we'll see. But I'm not doing today. Although, Theo, I am getting you an Emesis Reborn pin badge, so hopefully you like that. Work's still ongoing for Project Ocean, or at least groundworks on this side of it. No more information just yet. The review date's been pushed back, we believe, until the back end of this month, although. I think it was around about now, so hopefully, very, very soon indeed, we'll be getting some more information about this and whether or not it's actually going to happen. So, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit subscribe and also follow us on socials for more information, news and all that good stuff. 
cover everything daily and we always get on it as soon as we can. So yeah, more on this coming very soon. Right, so as well as the, uh, the coffee, you've also got energy stations serving food, drinks, well, sweets and drinks, sweet treats, slushies, all that sort of thing. As well as ice creams. Got a customer, uh, customer hub there. We've also got Generator Refueling Company. They're serving chicken wings and chicken strips. Smells very nice, does it, actually? Not too badly priced. And then, of course, you've also got Donut Division, formerly Nemesis, Nem Nemesis Donuts, I think it used to be called. And obviously, that's been refemed and uh, renamed now as well. So there's quite a few different food outlets here in uh, Forbidden Valley. Plenty of choice. And again, with an annual pass, the prices won't be too bad either. So before we go and get a ride on Nemesis Reborn, we're just going to have a quick look in the new arcade building. R slash Cade. Now this for an arcade itself feels massive. Very, very oversized in my opinion for what it actually is. I've got a sneaking suspicion this at some point might become something else. You've got a little area there that could potentially be kind of utilised as a, uh, a ride up box. In terms of floor space, there's a lot of room in here. The ceiling's really tall. You could definitely fit a few good flat rides in here, that's for sure. Or at least one. And I think long term, speculation purely here, but I think that's what we're going to see. Yeah, definitely doesn't feel like it was built to be an arcade, put it that way. I completely agree with Sean on that one. It really, really does. It feels highly excessive. Because the old building wasn't that tall. Anyway, there we go. Right, time for a ride in Nemesis Subterra. 10 minute wait, not too bad. Good to see this back for this year. Let's go get a ride. And also, the Nemesis uh, viewing platform is now gone as well, which potentially means that some of the old queue line that was taken up by that will now be reopened again. So that probably means it's going to be a lot longer to walk around. But yeah, good to see this uh, back again this year. Extended queue line down there with the old viewing platform was. Let's go grab a ride, I'll talk to you afterwards. Well, like I said to you before, judge for yourself, that is not a 10 minute queue at all. Okay, so we just had a run through on Nemesis Subterra, that was really good. Uh, they've ramped it up, felt much more intense in the actual uh, observation room. Lifts working perfectly fine, no issues getting on there. The only thing that let it down though was the fact that the floor in our fake lift wasn't actually shaking at the end so other than that good fun uh, there was an actor in there as well I still want to see more actors in there though I really do feel like there should be at least maybe two or three potentially just to kind of sort of really ramp it up and give it that sort of like fear factor other than that though really good heading now over to X sector I'm gonna grab some food and uh, get on Smiler and Oblivion all being well it does shut up for today though so uh, we ain't got much longer left <laughs> Alright, first time in X Sector this year. So let's go see about getting a ride on the Smiler. See how she's running, because she was running like a flaming shopping trolley last year, so uh, let's see if she's improved. Well, it said 40 minutes, and it definitely looks like 40 minutes. Let's get a ride on this and then grab some food afterwards, I reckon. It's probably the best way to do it. Driving you mad yet? It's so funny. Ah, <laughs> like, yeah, already, Bob. <laughs> 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 Hello, Alright, Smiler Bingo, how many of these are actually working out of the four? We've got one, 
two, three, ah, four. All four are working. That is really rare. In fact, last time we came here, so was back in the last season, they're all out of action. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've just been on Smiler, still shaking around like a bag of spanners. Definitely feels like riding a shopping trolley. I mean, we're towards the back end of it, and that was rough. Really, really rough. But we're finishing our day now, as you can probably tell, with all the signs I'm passing in, uh, a well, on Oblivion, should I say, not in Oblivion. I fall into Oblivion. <laughs> I've ride on that, it's got a 10 minute queue, it's now five to four. Park sits at four, get a ride on that, and then make our way to the exit. Let's go. Great way to finish your day, really, really is. Arms out, legs out, the whole way down. Absolutely fantastic. It's the only way that you truly free fall into that hole is to just let go and submit yourself to it. Absolutely love doing it, I really, really do. Although it's the only one here that still kind of gets me a little bit like that, but it's well worth doing. Anyway, it's been a great day here, it really has. I'm gonna head out now. Might have a quick look in uh, Towers Train again, we'll see. And then we'll wrap up our day here at oh, Towers. Well, that wraps up our day here at Alton Towers. It's been a great little off-peak day. Uh, the club park closes at four today, but we still managed to run about sort of six or seven rides. So to be honest with you, actually, we ain't done bad at all. Uh, we managed to get on Nemesis quite a few times. We've been on the Smiler, Oblivion, Wicker Man, Nemesis Subterra, and of course, the Curse at Alton Manor as well. So it's been a really productive, fun little vid uh, visit. Not video, well, there has been, but yeah. <laughs> Regardless of that, you know, it's been great. Um, really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As ever, if you have, please consider hitting the subscribe button, turning on notifications, and again, smash the like button if you have. But will you be coming to Alton Towers this year? Will you be checking out Nemesis Reborn? Have you been yet, or do you plan on coming? Do let us know in the comments below, guys. And for now, I'm Joe, this is Theme Park Insanity, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.